paper on display today at Hiawassee College with students facing the school's end. You know, we learned a week ago the 170 year old institution is closing. The school blaming financial trouble due to declining enrollment, changes in demographics, the rural location, and subsidized public education. Well, that explanation not satisfactory for some students, especially when they were kept out of a meeting between leadership and faculty. WATE 6 on your side reporter Laura Hall was there as the situation got tense. They waited outside, wanting honesty and answers. Sheriff's deputies stood by locked doors, making sure students and alums didn't get inside. I went up and tried to get into the meeting, and the sheriff took me by the arm and escorted me out the door. We're not just like students that email that we're upset or that we want answers. Like we truly care. But eventually, they did get it. I just feel like they did not respect us by letting us know ahead of time what was going on because I feel like all this could have been avoided if they took the extra steps to avoid it. All we want is answers. They would just come out and tell us what's going on. We wouldn't, it wouldn't be any need for all this. Those part of that closed door meeting coming out to calm nerves. <laughs> Minutes later, a canine officer was brought in. It was really aggressive for us to be students just wanting answers and us being in our own building here. Teachers tell us the meeting was filled with unanswered questions and they were told they may be paid through April or possibly May 10th. Wherever our students transfer to, those schools are getting some excellent students and excellent people. Hiawassee College President Dr. Robin Tricoli came out for just a moment, letting students know about future meetings. Just knowing that I was leaving was going to hurt anyway, but now, like, realizing that there's not really even going to be anything to come back to, I think that's what hurt. Now, there are still a lot of questions. Students tell me that next week they have a similar meeting with college leadership scheduled, but they're worried that because of how today went, that may be canceled. Reporting in Madisonville, Laura Holm, WATE 6 on your side. All right, thank you, Laura. Mm -hmm. Now, Hiawassee's College's president, Dr. Robin Tricoli, says the school has not had any funds to misappropriate. All revenue was spent for its intended purpose. Dr. Tricoli saying in a statement to WATE 6 on your side, quote, the decision to close was not the result of one single issue nor one group or one individual's fault. It was an accumulation of years of not enough donor support, too many facilities issues, and the lack of enrollment to sustain our mission, end quote.